In this school spider tutorial, I'm going to show you how to manage events on your calendar on your website. So um, let's just go to the website and see what the calendar looks like. So if I can click onto my website, I've then got a I've got a view our school calendar button, but you may have this down at the bottom a block with the calendar dates on. So you can see it's split into different classes, um, and then you've got your whole calendar here with the day highlighted what it is. So I'm going to add something for today. So if I just go back to my administration area. Um, I want to manage my website because I want to add an event to the website and then I just look down and it's the bottom option add or edit a calendar event so I can go back and change any of these that I want to so click the plus button to go back and edit them but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new event and um, it's for our sports day which is coming up tomorrow so sports day um, you can relate it to a class as well. So on your class page, it automatically pulls through events and blogs and things like that. And um, so if you want to pull it through onto your class, just choose your class from the list. Or if it's a whole school event, just leave it um, as this is not related to any class. Give it a start time and date. So I'm going to set it for tomorrow at 9 a.m. So let's just do the time first. So I'm going to choose 9 a.m. 900, and then I choose the day. So tomorrow, 9 o'clock. I can put the duration of the event in here, so I mean th this is only going to be sort of uh, four hours, say. But let's say you've got a school holiday, you're putting in um, the hot, you know, your holiday dates, things like that. You could put summer half term in there, and you would put one week or seven days or something like that. What the software tries to do is try to pick up your language in here and then get the actual time from that. So there's no end date. But you set the end date by setting how long the event's going to be. So um, I'm just going to set it for four hours. I then add my content into here. So I'm going to say something like, uh, don't forget your sports kit for sports day. The more information you can write in there, the better. I tick it to be active. And then I press save. So you see now that that's been saved, I can start to add images and files and audio and videos to it if I want to. Um, if I just go back to the website now, and I'm just going to press refresh just to pull through the latest version. You see now that we've got Sports Day on there, and I can click through into it and view the information about Sports Day. Obviously, the more stuff you write in there, the more stuff will be pulled through. Um, if you start to relate it to different classes, so in your little drop-down menu here, if you relate it to sort of Year 6, It'll be color coded on the front front end as well, so each class has its own color, um, and they'll all show up in different colors.